Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. To what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's 4-3-3. Uh, well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition. And we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide. And it can just throw the opposition off kilter. There's the whistle. Hit into the middle. Great leap! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Vincent Aboubacar really showed that he wanted it more than anyone else, but maybe heading requires extra practice. Tries to stroke it through. That's gone a long way up and away. And here's a Bubakar. Looking to go in for goal. He's delivered all right. And it's Cameroon who take the lead. given such an open invitation he was always going to shoot yeah and all engineered peter by some smart running and movement that's already something to admire but how about the pass just wonderful loved it Cameroon have an early lead. Good start. That's been drilled forward. He's made sure that that won't get through. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Berahino desperately wants to get on the end of this. And here's Perahino looking to break out here. Sambo and Gisa. Cameroon are seeing a lot of the ball and have a 1 0 lead to show for it. Drives it towards the front. Sambo and Gisa. Cameroon are leading with half time drawing close. Gets wrestled off the ball. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Vincent Aboubacar really just wasn't quick enough then. Well, his thinking certainly wasn't. Didn't make use of what I felt were some very good options. Has a hit!
interesting run he's making on the right. And it's half time here. So there you have it. A close sport half of football. But one that still had its moments. But ultimately produced just one goal. And a decent game up to now. Well, this team has found a real win to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Cameroon, the happier of the teams, heading in for half time, 1 0 up. And the second half gets underway. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. Sambo and Gisa. Almost an hour gone. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, this lead is beginning to look a little bit. He's had a shot! And another time! He scored! Two up and threatening to pull clear! He was so alert to the possibilities there. Great stuff. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Cameroon a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in well that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out surely they'll manage one or the other goes direct to the front line oh, well intercepted really alert to the danger Lobs it in gently. Abubakar shoots. And he's there to hoof it away. Zambo and Gisa. Up to meet it. And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Tries to get it forward quickly. Forward it goes. <laughs> Sambo and Gisa. And that's it. Roger well, heads down the tunnel, swathed in satisfaction. And his team has carried out his instructions to the world, and they have got their win. But Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Cameroon simply imposed their strength from start to finish, and this became as predictable as predicted. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.